Hey guys, still in Goldfield here, and this is the first time I've driven by this, what's called the Bottle House, where you could actually get up kind of close and personal to it. So, here you go. Back in the day, they built stuff with whatever material they had. This is a prime example. Unfortunately, this place is deteriorating a little bit. Wood floor. Look at all those bottles over there. They use those in between the mortar. Now, I see a bunch of bottles here. I don't know if these are in fact old. Or not but look at the ceiling looked like about one by three or one by four slats give you a better idea what this looks like once I can get a little bit away from it but I'm about a foot from the fence kind of shinny in between but look here look here how things were made a lot of rock down below but yet up top it's all bottles. I wonder if the bottles let in the light. That had to be what their thoughts were. This is before windows. No telling how old this home is. But my guess is my guess is the 19 early 1900s. Like somebody has maybe replaced the tin roof 50 or 75 years ago, but yeah, look at the construction. It's all rock down below. Unfortunately, it's like I said, it's deteriorating. But they have preserved this here in Goldfield. The Welcome Center is uh, next door here. I have a funny feeling that being as it's only glass up top starts at about four and a half, five feet above. That's how they let light in. Anybody knows about this, you know what to do. We love finding stuff like this. It's all fenced off. It looks like uh, maybe at some point, I don't know how they would preserve it or maybe try and do some resurrection, but uh, Looks to me like around those bottles, that's doesn't look like concrete, but who knows. All right, guys, here in Goldfield, lots of interesting stuff, including this old glass house. Bad arcade. Out.